What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, hello, how are we? Happy whatever day of the week it is for you. You guys, we are starting one of my favorite seasons, one of my favorite times to film, and that is my cutting series. At first I was literally just going to document my eight week cut without a series and then everyone was like no i want to see the actual process and like go with you through it so that is what we're doing i'm starting off this vlog if you haven't seen my cutting series in the past my fit girl fall challenges i basically just make vlogs on what i'm doing how's my day going and just being honest about whatever i'm going through in that journey especially if i have a challenge like cutting so excited to take you through the day with me with that being said do not forget to like and subscribe to youtube channel and let's get started first things first i woke up at a bright and early 6 a.m and i went and trained my girl beth um at 7 a.m at the beach it was stunning gorgeous it's 8 41 so i'm filming at 9 30 for my podcast hitting the bars gotta get to work on that might have another cup of coffee decaf i'm still only having one cup of caffeine a day and then decaf for the rest because i'm delulu and then i'm training another gal at 11 15 so i'm basically going to be running around like a mad woman until that's done It is 86 out right now. It's gonna be such a hot summer. I have to like walk to the gym. I'm dreading it because I'm gonna be just drenched. But today we are doing a leg day Stairmaster with my cut. I end up adding more cardio into my routine and I also add more of just strength training. So instead of three days, I'm now doing like four to five depending on how I feel. And then I'm always challenging myself uh, with higher weights. So usually squats, I like say I keep it at 25 pounds on each. I'm going to I'm gonna try and like do five. I'm gonna try and do 10 over. Um, I just really want that progressive plan and just to challenge my body. And like, I love the feeling after when you feel sore the next day, um, but I'm still keeping my Pilates, but that's essentially my plan is I have lower body, I have Pilates, then I have like back and shoulders, then I have another lower body and then a full body if I want, or I'll substitute the lower body and I'll do full body, just depending on <laughs> hanging loose.
from the gym, saunaed after the Stairmaster. I need to share with you. I do it every day. It's this smoothie bowl. Shoot. Oh. Epic fail. It's melting because I was filming. Basically, I'll just tell you. I made a smoothie bowl with granola, blueberries, and then I'm obsessed with these like little true food. I'm obsessed with these little true food things I found at Costco. White and milk chocolate strawberry. So I make like a little sweet protein smoothie bowl. It gets like a little, it's not as thick as a normal protein bowl is, but I'm okay with it. This is the protein that I'm using. Strawberry shortcake ice cream. So frothy. When I was training, I just had a Costco protein shake and it was only 20 grams. This is 25 grams. It's a high protein day for me on the cut. Okay, I'm hungry. It's 3.33, exactly. Just been doing some work. <laughs> Guys, I'm not kidding you. I eat these for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's like the easiest meal prep ever. So I actually made myself like a lot of um, black bean, just plain black bean enchiladas. So all this is chicken for Michael, and then I get the beans. And I eat both of them, but uh, I'm a beanie gal. So tonight I think I'm gonna have this salad, but with um, a rotisserie chicken or an enchilada. But I feel like I'm gonna be a little enchilada out after. But all I do, I mix this with my enchilada and make it like an enchilada salad. It's not enchilada, it's enchilada. It makes sure that I get my greens in. Truly nothing fancy. I keep the salad dressing like in the fridge so I can just pop it in whenever. Sweet chili. This is called a lazy girl lunch. Okay, I took Bentley out for a little mile stroll and we're back home before I make dinner. I'm just working on my laptop in our little living room. You guys, comment if you saw the eclipse. Where I live, I don't think I can. I never saw anything. I Googled it, it said it was happening, but like, I saw some people's story where it was like nighttime, darkness. I'm curious, did you see the eclipse? What a Monday looks like for me, ladies. I'm um, selling my wedding dress and I just like Googled how to do it. Has anybody also used still white? I don't know. I just feel like my wedding dress is so beautiful and it was so expensive because it was from Berta. I can't let it just sit in a closet. I'm never gonna rewear it. I don't care to give it to our kids. That's kind of stressful, but I'm excited to see if anybody wants it. Even if it's minimal, I'm happy just to have someone enjoy the dress. All right, my fam, I'm gonna wrap this up. I ended up not vlogging the rest of the night because I forget to. Let me know, please comment if you like these cutting series of vlogs. If yes, I'll keep them coming. I'll try to do multiple a week. If no, peace out. All right, I'm gonna put my head down. I do wanna end with some tidbits, some little tips if you are looking to start a cut. This isn't like something you fall into. This isn't just like something you wing. I always recommend seeking professional guidance or also just doing a lot of your research. You eating less does not equal a cut, okay? Let's be real with that. I don't want people to have unhealthy habits from cuts. Ignore my one finger. Number one, in order to start a cut, you need to figure out what your maintenance calories, your maintenance macros are. And this is important because at the end of the day, a cut is you expending more energy, burning more calories than you're consuming. At the end of the day, plain and simple, that's how you lose body fat. And what maintenance calories are is just determining the number of calories that you need for like your average weight, what weight you're at right now. This could literally be done with a calculator online or you could seek professional help for that. Two is after that, you have to create a caloric deficit. What that means is like I said, you're burning more calories than you're consuming. A lot of the times we start off with a modest deficit, which is about 250 calories to like 300. That's what I do per week, um, but some people work it up to 500 calories, but that's totally up to you. I'm not telling you what to do. This can also be achieved by you increasing your physical activity, so you don't necessarily have to go into a deficit. The entire point of this is once again, you're burning more calories than you're consuming. That equals fat loss. Three is focusing on the macronutrients within your calories. Calories are empty, okay? Calories are just what makes up of macronutrients, your carbs, your protein, fat. With that being said, I tend to have a higher protein diet when I'm in a cut. That's just helping me maintain my muscle mass and also helping me just stay fuller longer 
longer as well. Four is monitoring your progress so you're not just like blindly going in. I check it every two weeks personally and sometimes I do it every week but I'm always tracking my macros during my cut. For me, I don't mind tracking my macros but for others it might be unhealthy especially having a numbers viewpoint so just be aware of that. Five is staying hydrated. Six is incorporating a strength routine like I just said. Seven is getting adequate sleep. That's very important. Don't neglect that. Next is increasing just activity in general. Get movement in and then I always recommend just being patient. I hope that helps. I hope that gives you a little bit of guidance. I can go more into detail if you want but with that being said do not forget to like and subscribe to YouTube channel and I will see you next time. If you've made it this far, comment enchiladas.